Herald Standard presents the Game of the Week. Tonight, California travels to Yawk to face the Cougars. The Yawk Cougars showed strength right away with this quick score by Jared Daish. It took only one minute for the California Trojans to answer with this inbound basket by Nate Lukatek. Yawk had a little trouble handling the ball, but California could not cash in. So Jarrett showed them how to do it outside the three-point line. The Trojans answered with two points by number 22, Cass Taylor. Yawk holds a tiny lead. California's three-pointers were a little rusty, but their inbounding for a score was well greased. Cass Taylor to the rescue. California has the lead. With seconds left in the first, Cass got his three-pointer all tuned up. Wow, it's nine to five, the Trojans. In the second, John DeFranco extends the lead, and so does Dylan Hammond, Cass Taylor, and DeFranco again, and again with a three-point shot. Somebody call a timeout already. In the third, Jared gets his three on for Yacht, but so does DeFranco for California. By the beginning of the fourth, things are looking good for the Trojans. It's 18 to 38. But Yak ain't finished yet. John McLaren delivers three more for the Cougars. Or make that five. In the end, California squeaks out a meager 25 point victory. Ouch. All right, we're here with California coach Bruno Papasergi after his team's 55 30 win here at Yak. Coach, share your thoughts on the game. It was a difficult game to play. Uh, give Case a lot of credit. He slowed the game down. We couldn't pick our pace that we wanted. He could kind of control the pace of the game. The court is so big, there's a lot of things that we couldn't do that we normally would do. Like we couldn't press. Uh, we, we loved to run, but we couldn't run like we wanted to because it's running so far every time. It's, it's very hard to do. But I think our kids, I told our kids just now that physically we played pretty well, but mentally it was probably our best game we played all year because we didn't panic. We didn't really get out of our situations. We told them just methodically keep, you know, increasing the lead. That's what we did tonight. Uh, now that we're a week into the season already, what are you seeing improvement-wise from your team? I think we're shooting with more confidence right now. Ball handling is becoming better. Our defense is just outstanding right now in, in some of the things we do. I know a lot of people, as you're coaching, uh, you, you're, you, would, you understand because you coach for so long. Uh, we do some things that People wouldn't recognize from the stands how we switch, how we how we drop into certain uh, areas of, a, of our man-to-man -man and make coverages. Uh, we do need to start rebounding a little bit better at times, but I'm very pleased where we're at right now. I really am. Uh, moving forward, what's next for you guys? Well, we got Schaller on Monday. Uh, that's a big rivalry game. Uh, we already scrimmaged him once this year. We had a uh, very good scrimmage with him. Uh, the kids go after each other. Uh, if I had a, if I had my choice, really, I probably would have not schedule this game because we have a section game open on a Tuesday, but it's going to be a good game at our place. Uh, hopefully we come out, both teams come out of it on harm, on harm and just with a good game. That's all. all right, Coach, thanks a lot. Best thank of luck. You, Bill, thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, Coach, uh, your team you know, fought hard tonight, You know, came up short. It goes without saying you're one of the youngest teams in the WPIO, if not the youngest. But what were some positives you took out of this defeat tonight? Um, <clears throat> well, so far we're seeing a lot of full-court pressure, and I feel like we're, we're handling that pretty well. We're turning the ball over, but once again, we've got freshmen and sophomore guards, so they're going to learn on the fly. Um, just checking the stat sheet now, we cut our half our time our turnovers in half, so we're doing better at that. But um, we're struggling putting the ball in the hoop. So when we do beat the press, we'll come up short down in the offensive end. Right. What, what, what were some of the things that you saw tonight that, that you see the team is improving on as a whole? Um, execution, some out of bounds plays, um, being patient with the offensive sets and uh, looking to share the ball. Um, we're just struggling putting the ball in the hoop. We're getting some nice open looks, just can't knock them down. Okay. Uh, moving forward, you know, what's the next step in progression for you guys? We'll keep battling. Um, I feel like we're battle tested. We played some tough opponents in our non-section game so far. So now, I mean, we're 0-4, but we're battle tested and uh, section play starts Tuesday. So we're looking to make some changes for dairy game. All right, coach, best of luck moving forward. Thank you, appreciate it.